Hi guys, uh, today I wanted to talk to you about um, overheating and some things I did to prevent uh, my North Star, my beautiful North Star engine, <laughs> um, that um, how to prevent it from you know overheating and some of the things I did. As you know, these North Star engines are known to overheat for various reasons, but um, you know, I've got a 98 DeVille and uh, it seems like it's running great. I take care of it. I don't, I don't have a heavy foot and um, I don't, uh, you know, drive it over 65 miles an hour. Uh, like I told you before in the previous videos, I replaced the, the um, starter on it, which wasn't that hard. Uh, if you want, uh, look at my YouTube channel under auto repair you'll see where I showed you how to repair the starter but one of the things you know why these overheat is because usually it's because of leaks it's, I think secondary is the head bolts as you know if you know anything about the head bolts uh, if you don't know anything about the head bolts uh, do a little research and you'll find out that these head bolts get loose so um, anyway so one of the things I did was to replace the thermostat and the thermostat is right down there and as you know a thermostat when it works properly uh, when the car gets to a certain temperature when it gets hot it opens up and it circulates the water you know from the radiator to the engine and it comes back around it kind of circles as you know and you know the obviously the radiator cools it what happens when the thermostat goes out as you know the thermostat doesn't open anymore it stays shut so what it does is restrict the water well what I did is replace it with a thermostat that when it the thermostat goes out it doesn't close it stays open so that prevents any time if the thermostat fails it stays open so your, you know, your your uh, radiator will still, or your fuel, uh, excuse me, your water pump will still be uh, pumping, you know, uh, water through it. It won't maintain, you know, the temperature where it's supposed to be, but at least the car won't overheat. The second thing is just all, you know, just inspect your hoses, and if you smell any antifreeze, locate it and replace the hose. One of the things, though, I found out about this car, as this return tube here it's a piece of plastic that goes underneath here I took a picture um, out of one of my previous videos this uh, picture has the cover off and you can see my finger pointing at that tube uh, you can take the four screws off the uh, engine cover there and it'll expose it so you can just easily remove it and clean it out I just wanted to show you the picture with the cover off that goes underneath and then it comes out on this side here well that hose gets clogged sometimes for various reasons so you want to make sure that that's work, uh, you know clear and working properly the other thing is that these uh, radiator you know fill tanks here they get brittle and they crack so if you've had you know your Cadillac for a while and you know this thing looks like crap replace it I mean they're not really that much the other thing is Below here is a hose that needs to be maintained too. So while you're replacing this, replace the hose down there. Uh, if you got some time, do it. It's, it's pretty easy. It's just one, two, three bolts. This pulls out. There's a, uh, and also, by the way, there's a uh, sensor underneath this thing. So when you replace the tank, it comes with a sensor. And that tells you if your fluid is, you know, running low. So you want to replace that. The other thing too is radiator um, cap. You know, just get a new one. I mean, they're like three, four bucks. Uh, that also will help you. But the main thing is to inspect the, you know, the hoses and and uh, that'll help, you know, your car from running out of fuel uh, fluid and um, you know you won't overheat. The other thing, the most important thing too, is that 
why these why a lot of these engines fail is because people put in the wrong radiator fluid you need to put the factory uh, radiator fluid in there because these engines are made out of aluminum and the other types of fluid I guess are caustic or they have at some kind of an acid in it and it um, it you know it'll eat the aluminum so this stuff here uh, won't do that um, and you can see it says phosphate and silica silicate free so um, uh, you know you need to use the right antifreeze and how you know that is that this stuff is orange okay and I see some of these guys repairing their Cadillac engines and they got the green stuff in the radiator and that's the wrong radiator fluid now they have some out there that says it doesn't matter you can you know put it on one engine or the other you know, and I don't know about that all I know is that this is what the factory says to use you know and it's it doesn't you know eat up the engine they guarantee that so do that the other thing too is inside your engine sometimes there's a um, a leak you know between the heads and you'll get a small leak in there and you'll notice because you're you're burning a little you know um, radiator fluid you notice it's low it's going somewhere uh, it's not really supposed to do that so you have a small leak somewhere and what I've done to prevent that is I bought this thing and it's a powder okay and you don't put it all in there you only put maybe a fourth in there and you know put it in, you just put it in your radiator and let it circulate and if you notice you're still leaking you know put another quarter in there and I would say I, I wouldn't put more than half in there and don't whatever you do don't put it all in there because this could cause your uh, your radiator in your heater core or your heater core to get plugged up so you don't want to put too much but just put a little bit of time put a fourth you know in there and if you notice that it's slowing down then put just put a little bit more in there and what that does is it stops the small leaks that are going on in you know in your engine uh, I did this in a van that I used to have it was always missing and the mechanics were telling me God I don't know I, you know you got good plugs you got good wires everything's good well I put this stuff in there and what was going on is the water was was leaking somewhere in my intake um, to the the cylinder and there was water leaking in there and when I put that stuff in there it stopped running rough and missing uh, so I put this in there as an insurance I put a quarter in there to, to ensure that you know I don't have any leaks in there and they're plugged up with this stuff um, here are a few more things that you can do uh, to prevent your car from you know blowing your engine or you know overheating uh, you know it's replaced the radiator sometimes the radiator will you know obviously get a leak or you'll get a rock when you're driving it'll create a leak uh, replace the radiator fan those motors go out uh, same thing with the radiator uh, temp sensor if those go out it's not giving you a correct reading on how hot your engine's going and it won't allow the fan to kick on to cool off the water uh, when you're idling uh, replacing fan bells that's kind of obvious you always want to look at those replace your water pump if you replace your water pump it's only going to cost you like 50 60 dollars you could do it yourself it's a little bit of a hassle you'll have to have a special tool but your car uh, your parts place will let you rent it uh, for free um, you know replace your what your water pump because if it goes out you know you're thinking yeah it's only gonna cost me 50 60 bucks no if your water pump goes out your engines gonna blow and you go to dealership it's gonna run you an easy seven eight nine thousand dollars to have them install a new engine so uh, if I replace my thermostat I mean if I replace my tank I'll do a video on it uh, to you I, I do need to replace my uh, fuel pump I mean my power steering pump so that you'll be there'll be a video coming up on that and any other videos I'll uh, I'll keep you posted and uh, keep you guys informed uh, again thanks for watching and please uh, like and subscribe talk to you later